What's going on y'all? Welcome to another day fishing out on the pier. It has been a fun couple of days of fishing. This is day two, I guess, morning number two. And I got some great footage for you guys of me catching a little bit of everything and uh, the goons on the pier catching a little bit of everything. So fishing lures, fishing live bait. Let's dive into the video. Got this live pilcher here, bottom rig. Cast out, boom. We in the zone? Feels like the zone to you? Free spool click, give it one wrap, put it down. This time of year, you get a good school of bait hanging around the pier. So you have sardines and you have pilchards. And when you have that school of bait, it's gonna bring a bunch of predatory fish around the pier. So what I like to do is, I don't actually like to fish bait all that much. Typically my favorite thing is to fish lures. So fish like a diamond jig, fish like a Rapala X-Trap. And when you see either bait getting pushed around, bait skipping on top, bait getting blown up, I like throwing a lure in that area. And then catching predatory fish. Typically it's like a nice Jack Ravel, Bonita, stuff like that. It's really, really fun to me to put a lure out in that area and then hook something. So that's really my plan or my go-to when I get to the pier. Bonita on. Bonita on. On the top. Oh, 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 oh. oh my god, I shouldn't have tied the X-Trap on. Oh my god. No. Oh, Come on. Within the first 30 minutes or so, it didn't seem like the bite was gonna be super, super hot on lure, so I decided that I wanted to throw a live bait out on bottom. So either live pilchards or live sardines, with sardines being my favorite baits, throw them out on bottom and wait and just see if something picks it up. Oh, oh my God, lock drag, not good. <laughs> Woo! We on? Oh, look at that, we're on, boys. Oh my god, we're shooting across the top. Holy cow, we're getting chased by something. <laughs> Woo! Boy's hauling. Yeah. Come on. You know, there's a nice, nice okay, bonita. That was a bottom bait eater. It ate a little pilchard on bottom. We're gonna try and get one of these on a diamond jig now. Oh, sorry, Albies. <laughs> They're in the Bahamas. Alby Chew. Oh, that's a spinner. With one Bonita on the deck after catching them on bottom, I kind of turned my sights towards catching one on a lure for sure. And uh, y'all, I had a great situation where, you know, I see some baits getting skipped. I throw out the diamond jig, I get blown up. And I was so excited to get the camera, get the fish on camera for you guys that I literally lost all recollection of how to fish basically. Like I see this blow up and I just stop reeling as opposed to keep getting the line tight and getting the hook in this fish. I see the blow up and I just go to turn on the GoPro, the line goes slack and the fish gets off. I was like honestly cracking up at myself. I was like, what are you doing you idiot? Like you have to hook the fish first before you do any of this stupid stuff with the GoPro. But uh, it is what it is, um, you know, and it's, you know, I've caught plenty of Benitas before, not the end of the world by any means, but it was honestly kind of, I just felt really, really silly. <laughs> <laughs> had a bonita blow up my diamond jig turn the gopro on but i was not tight with him at all i just was hoping it would stay on you got a real boys in case you're wondering come on blow ups Oh they are Rick. Uh, oh, oh, oh. oh! You're on a bottom. Oh! Cal, oh. oh. grab that rod. The, the spinning rod. Oh. 
Oh, circle hook, no good. We get cut or what? You got cut. Oh, that's oh! Oh! What? What you want me to do? You're not that guy! Oh, where's Big Gray? So we were all standing in the corner. I hear Cliff scream. I turn around and I see a giant blow up. Definitely some bananas blowing up uh, some sardines. I throw out my diamond jig. Gets cracked on top. Now let's see if a barracuda will smoke my bonita before I get him in. Oh! Oh yeah, Kuda's on him. Kuda's on him. Oh, he jumped out of the water! Are you kidding me, dude? Oh my god, look at him! Look at him! Two meter! Two meter! Oh! Oh, he smoked it! Oh no, I just got smoked! Oh my god. Ricky! Ricky! We're gonna try the bait and switch. Get it out there. Oh, oh, oh. Kudo! Well, the Benita's off. <laughs> hey yo! Hey yo, bro! Oh my gosh. Well that Benita's done, boys. I see. It was a perfect release. I'm glad but you guys like the show. <laughs> that guy got that Benita definitely got smoked. Once we got the Benita close, a, a Barracuda had already grabbed my Benita and we decided that we wanted to throw a tube lure at the Kudas since they were already fired up. And with them fired up like that, they might eat a tube, they might decide that they wanted to eat. Um, and unfortunately, it didn't work out like we planned. So we got a school oh, yeah, no, of something fast. coming in here pretty fast, kind of a dark spot out there. I got a diamond jig on one rod and a swim bait on another depending on what it is. Um, I'm starting to think it's probably a school of jack, so I'm gonna have the diamond jig ready. But we shall see what it is. If it happens to be tarpon, I'd like to have the swim bait ready, but I think they're moving too fast. Yeah? Hey, do you think that's Jack's with tarpon? <laughs> I think I think it's all tarpon too. Just throw right in the middle. Nah, you don't want to do that. I'm no scientist, but that sounds a little up. <laughs> you get a gator trap or just right <laughs> the five inch NLBN, ounce and a half head, some 80 pound leader. Let's see if we can get bit. I'd like to just, you know, at least hook one. There's a lot of fish tight together, too. I'm gonna let them get a little closer. I'm gonna try. And, pack they are. Yeah, I'm gonna try and bring it around the right edge of them, I think. Yeah, you're good. I don't, I have like negative range on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> can actually only cast backwards. <laughs> Oh yeah. Okay. This is starting to look pretty good. Or in the back of them. <laughs> Less than an ideal shot. I'm literally bouncing it off of them. Nah, my first shot, I think, actually screwed up the whole school. We literally had enough time to like get a flat line ready, which probably would have been a little bit better. Those are all big fish, though. Yeah, I know. As the morning went on, these storms that were threatening to come towards the pier actually really started to come towards the pier. And the bite kind of seemed like it was dying. For as windy as it was and as fishy as it was, to me, it didn't seem like there was enough going on. So, with my stomach rumbling, I decided to go take a break, get some breakfast, and then come back for the afternoon. As soon as I got out for the afternoon, things started looking good. The wind was still good, the water had a nice color to it, and there was big sardines right up against the pier, which are typically hard to get this time of year. Typically they stay further away. So I scooped two big sardines, threw out a bottom bait, and immediately got bit.
right here, the fish, the baits that are suspended. Just flip it out like on your hand. I got one thread fin and one sardine. <laughs> Dude, smoked you. And that's on video. That's on video too. Oh! Oh, he's still on. On the extra, babe. <laughs> Thing smoked it. Hell yeah. That's funny. I was oh, like, I didn't even think I was filming. I was like, ah, that hook set and everything. He didn't even know it was a Cuda. He thought it was a Bonita. I got a gaffer now. Yeah, I'll get you. Bro, when you came down there, bro, Big nasty. I'm going to go on the other side of you, actually. Go and go on this way. Just don't get doomed. I know you had to zero cranking power, the Vanstall 150. Finally, I got a fish. Especially on the head that's fun. You got that a build, right? Oh, yeah, oh yeah, it's on there. Is that be in a video? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I don't know when, but for sure. If we catch, an, if we catch enough of fish today, it'll be next week. Oh, 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 Jesus Christ. What the hell? Get that thing under your arm, dude. You're about to break that rod. Oh yeah, Ryan, what are we doing, Justin? Ryan, come on, Dakota. Cool. <laughs> it's a yeah, you don't, you don't gotta pull on him too hard now. This is, this is when the hooks come out. So try and keep his head in the water if you can. Bye. Big gray. Big. Oh, I got a nip. Now my rod's going off. Hooks it. Oh my god. Less than ideal. What do we got? Go straight from Gaff and Akuda to fighting whatever this is. Picked up my sardine I had on bottom. Oh my god. What kind of critters we got going on here? Jack Cravel, cute little one. Nothing like the big ones we were catching. Nice double header, dude. Make sure you rinse that gaff off and the rope off when you're done. One of the big reasons that I like fishing bottom baits, um, especially in the middle of the day, is you really never know what's gonna pick it up, you know? Typically, you're gonna see your Bonitas, you're gonna see Jack Cravels, you're gonna see Snook this time of year, but sometimes it could be a big tarpon. Sometimes it could be a kingfish. You'd never even know. Sometimes it could be like a big cobia. The first cobia that I ever caught off the pier was literally on a bottom bait this time of year. Just randomly, you know, we were trying to catch a bonita and caught a keeper cobia on that little bonita bait. There you go. Another sardine. Take him. Classic. We're gonna hook the sardine on the bottom rig, just like this. Bam. A lot of wind today. Cast him out. Yeah, I mean like a cooter or something. Oh my god, can you reel that Van Stallen? Oh, we are on like Donkey Kong.
Later, dude. Oh, sh I just got sharked or something. Get him, son. Oh, my God. Uh, dude, you're getting over there. a little over slot. Maybe a little bit. A little <laughs> over action. Just got hit. Oh, he's on there. Oh, is he still on there? Oh, he's on there. Oh, buddy. I'll let you pull a little bit, bud. Oh, these ones are a little bigger. Nice. Ah, uh, might be. Yeah, this isn't complete rinky dink like the other ones I've been hooking, but still not a monster. close to getting me wow. jack shook his head at me rig came flying back hook got me in the arm luckily it didn't go barb deep oh that didn't feel good oh hook set what we got oh little drag pull bonichiwa oh my god we got some bonichiwa <laughs> yeah we about to have cuda Part two. To... <laughs> it's getting his revenge. Nah, dude, definitely Benita. Told you, just need to change the bait, Cody. It's all. But we're about to have revenge of the Kudas. Cobia. Get good with all those guys. See them? Yeah. They riding with mine? Oh, we got a jack jackfish. This is where I almost died with the eight ounce like an hour ago. Literally, I just like put it in fold, started cranking him. Dude, the eight ounce came back and the hook got oh. me in the hands. It was not good. Oh, uh, if we got a gnat, I'll gnat him. Take my back, take my back. Watch out, folks. Ah, uh, we got one. Coming down right behind you. Yeah. Better than the little ones earlier. Oh, uh, you gotta, you're gonna have to fix those, unfortunately. I had the same issue this morning. I was trying to net some kid snook.
drop it. Thanks. Nice. What's your name? Callum. Thanks, man. Nice to meet you. I'm Ryan. Are you gonna keep that hook, buddy, or what? Nah, I'm getting that thing back. Yeah. There we go. You're in there. Oh, there we go. So, not like the monsters we were catching earlier in the year, but that's a saw, like 12, 15 pounder. Ate the bottom bait. I'll take those guys all day. Super, super fun, and uh, I'm gonna let that guy go. Cool. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, nice Thank you, sir. Sir. What do a lot of people tend to target this time of year when they come out to the pier is snook. I wasn't really in a snooky mood yesterday, so I really didn't fish for them at all. But a couple of my buddies did, and unfortunately my GoPro was dead, but check this fish out that my buddy Michael Grella caught. Oh, yeah, really I know. <laughs> so we didn't get it on the GoPro, but I'm walking over with a sandwich. I literally just said, if I go eat, someone's gonna catch something. And uh, Michael just caught himself what looks like a nice slot snook. You hold that bad boy up when you get a sec. Actually, you measure him out. Now, let me see that bad boy. You're keeping him, right? Yeah. Bang, look at that. Show me how to do it, nice slot <laughs> snook. I'm gonna show a picture here in a second, but uh, my man, Michael Grillo, me and him had probably the biggest triple header snook up I've ever seen in my entire life. It was like 10 years ago. But <laughs> yeah, he's a little bit ago. smaller there, but that's a nice <laughs> fish. Let me get a pick for you. Sure. Yeah. Oh! That was a eat. <laughs> There's no way they reach us. That was a good run though. Oh, these oh. are good eats. Those are good eats, boy. Look at them older jacks. Oh my god, those are. Look at them. They might come. Cody, those are big jacks too. Yeah. And they're that? <laughs> nah, they're gonna keep coming. If those are jacks, they're not gonna stop. Here we go. Yeah, they're coming. I would get, I would get ready. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, boy. Oh! 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 You guys are tight. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Where are they? What the hell happened? There couldn't have been more money. Where'd they go? That was so funny, bro. Did they go to the surf? That was it! That, that was it! <laughs> that was it. Time to go home. And we ended the afternoon. I wanted to throw some lures, maybe hook a tarpon, maybe hook a kingfish. Didn't have a lot of that happen, but we did get redemption from the morning. So check this out. Oh! Oh! Is that on the ice cream? No, he just walked on, on the tube. tube? I was I thought it was a barracuda. I thought it was a bonita. I was so confused. No, it's a food Redemption from this morning, Ricky. You watched him follow my extra. Oh! That thing's pissed, dude. You want to? My gaff's hanging over there. On the rod rail with the blue rope. Snook rod on. No, it's a barracuda in your line. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Well, even if we weren't gaffing him, he might not be making it. Yeah, give me the play-by-play -play where you're doing this gaff. What, what just happened there, boys? So, I was throwing my lip hard bait. <laughs> and this ocean musky chased it up. Ricky went and grabbed his food at I was tail shot. Oh, I died, I died. Oh, oh, oh my god. You know, you really don't have to hit him that hard. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> oh my god. I tried to get him. You sent him to the moon, dude. Him and Dogecoin. Just <laughs> to the moon. Yo, I can smell that thing from here. I smelled it when it was half. Ah. <laughs> hey, man. Proud of you. I did it. So we couldn't accomplish the bait and switch this morning, but uh, you got Dog. him this time. It's not Dog. big nasty that we wanted, but. Come still, on. Get in here, Cody. Come on. Toothy critter. This guy taught me everything I know. Yeah. Everything? Everything. 
Hey, let me get a pic real quick. And that brings us all the way to this morning. I had planned on getting out here kind of early in the morning and maybe catching an early morning kingfish or a bonita on a lure. Fortunately, didn't really work out in my favor. I didn't actually get up as early as I needed to. So I got out here a little bit late and uh, there really wasn't much going on. Um, my man, Drew here, hooked a big jack as a whole school kind of swam through on the bottom. You got a grown one, dude. Yeah. You're famous for the internet. <laughs> you had good luck with those, the new for us? Oh, yeah, blew out a couple times. But... <laughs> like you like as in like no, it lost no, a bearing? Really. As in like it lost a bearing or like no, the handle spun backwards? Oh, no, it spun backwards. Well, that's not, that's less than ideal. The classic, put put the put the drag as tight as it goes with the hammer. Yeah, I locked it for snook and it tibiated it and then... You can see here, Drew got wrapped underneath the pier and that's just because he got tangled in a bunch of lines. The jack kept moving and the jack kept moving and the jack kept moving and the jack ended up underneath the pier on the other side. As you can see here in this footage, literally, I see the jack on the other side, and ret uh, retrospectively, I should have tried to snag this line and maybe handline this jack. Yeah, he's underneath the pier. Yo, you're good, bro. Ready? Wait, wait, wait. Now's your time to slowly start putting pressure. Pull, pull, pull. Pull, pull, pull. All right, it's a big fish. He's going. He's going to get you on another piling, so just slowly gain, but I would loose drag him. He's underneath the pier again now. Um, but unfortunately, it, things did not work out, and this jack got completely wrapped up under the pier, and then Drew's line, or actually, no, the hook pulled. Yeah, so who knows? You win some, you lose some, but that was a really, really big fish. Y'all, you know, some videos are absolutely epic and there's a crazy goal and a crazy fish to end the video and it sums it up. And then some are just, you know, I like them to be just a documentation of what my fishing day was. And these are these days like this, although you don't you don't catch something giant, they are super fun for me. So I hope the videos are fun for you guys. I need you guys to do me a huge favor and check out this epic peer video from last summer and I'll see y'all over there.